Alright, what's going on guys? Tread back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a Walking Dead Season 5 Episode 3 leading up to discussion topic video. In this one we're going to be talking about, now it will contain spoilers, whether or not Martin is still alive, the member of Terminus who uh, almost killed baby Judith that uh, got into the uh, scruff with uh, Therese. And if so, uh, what my thought, or if not, what my thoughts are on that. Okay, and yes, of course, this will contain spoilers for The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 2, as well as Episode 3, because we're going to be kind of revealing this. It's kind of been talked about a bit on uh, Talking Dead, the episode after the uh, Walking Dead episode aired, but I thought I'd go ahead and give my thoughts on it. So yes, uh, final spoiler warning, the answer to the question is... Yes. So, as you can see here, we have a picture-in-picture -picture of both on the left, Martin from No Sanctuary, the premiere, and uh, on the right, we have him as in the second episode near the end there, when Bob is just waking up from being knocked unconscious. Uh, it says on the wiki, and I don't know if this is 100% true or not, that Martin is the one that actually knocked Bob out and brought him back to uh, Gareth and the others. Even though, on the picture on the right, he doesn't look so good. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't think so after uh, Tyrese uh, beat the snot out of him, <laughs> you know, so, but I, I don't really see any black eyes or anything like that. You know, this is, this is a picture too. You might think at first, is that really the same? But compare the noses. Uh, once you compare the noses, I think you'll, uh, you'll see that, uh, yeah, that's him. Uh, you know, you can just, uh, just take a look at that. He's just, I think he's supposed to be looking, you know, very, you know, kind of out of it because Tyrese whipped his ass so bad. But if you guys remember uh, when Tyrese was doing that, he was also saying at the same time that he he wouldn't or he won't or I, I won't, I am, you know, that type of thing. Also, would not let Carol check on him. If you remember, uh, he told Carol or he convinced her that he was dead and that there was no need. He kind of even put a hand up, I think, uh, to kind of, you know, let her know that uh, there was no need for her to go in there, that, that he is dead, uh, when in fact it actually looks like to us he probably knocked him out after hitting him so many times with some good ground and pound. But, of course, Martin is still alive. So I'll put the links in the description to the wiki and everything so you guys can check out what it says. There's a couple, actually. And on both, he is listed as alive. And it is confirmed that that's him at the end of the episode. So just in case you're wondering, because I know the picture is not that clear on the right. But um, anyway, yeah. So now the second part of the video is I'm going to actually give my thoughts on uh, what I think about that, the direction of them to keep Martin alive, and of course what that means for Tyrese. Now this is a this is a weird one because if Martin was the one wearing that sweatshirt or that hoodie um, and actually did attack Bob and was the one to actually take him back, was responsible for that, then in in some way Tyrese is sort of responsible for what's happening to Bob now, since he was the one that abducted him. In addition to that, of course, you have um, him being Sasha's brother. So, you know, this is some good drama with some characters that we haven't really uh, seen much with. And I do like how The Walking Dead is really starting to branch out. Of course, you had the big drama at the beginning of the series with Rick. But since that's been over, it's kind of like, you know, Rick is there as the leader. But we're getting to see some great developments and some great... Uh, you know, character stuff from these other characters that are new to the series and this whole uh, kind of complex story that, that we can already starting to see develop in, you know, the relationship between Bob, Sasha, and Tyrese and how, you know, Tyrese's one decision to allow Martin to live, to prove himself to be right, um, has led to all of this, uh, you know, afterwards. So, so it's kind of cool because when, when, you, when you think about it, it was kind of like him and Martin, Tyrese and Martin got into an argument. Okay, here was, just to, just to lay it out there, here was the argument they got into. Martin's worldview or his, his idea is that if, if Tyrese lets him live, then Tyrese and the baby are going to be the ones that, that die. Or at least this is at, at that time, that's what he said. So his idea is that, you know, if he's, if he's going to do that, if he's going to allow him to live, then, you know, he won't have any choice but sooner or later to kill Tyrese and the baby off because that's what the hunters do, the Terminus people do. And the reason why he was speaking in that manner was he was trying to tell him to leave because he knows that if Gareth finds out that there's a baby, if Gareth finds out about that, he won't. He probably won't take any mercy on it, even though it is a baby and, you know, the whole thing. So that was probably Martin struggling with a little bit 
of uh, conscience that he actually has left, which is not very much when you consider what they what these characters have done. So when Tyrese was beating him down, it was kind of like an argument between the two. Martin's point was that Tyrese would have to kill him if he wants to survive. He would have to do what Martin would say. But because Tyrese wanted to be right, he allows Martin to live. Instead, he knocks him out or just beats him to a pulp to the point where Martin can no longer move. And Tyrese believes that he is correct and proves himself to be right, that he doesn't have to kill. Of course, not knowing that when the characters leave, Gareth and the others would be so audacious to actually track them down, hunt them down, and kill them for food. Tyrese probably never in his uh, imagination considering that he was running into people like that or a group like that that would behave in such a manner. He probably couldn't even fathom that there would be a group like that out there doing that. So um, it, it's a really interesting new character dynamic that we're seeing for the new season with a character from The Hunters aside from Gareth, which is cool because The Hunters in the comic book series, as amazing as the group is and how scary they are and how unique they are with what they do, very horrifying, scary villains, we never really saw that much development from them. Probably not any at all, actually. So to see this in the TV series, and we've got some new information coming out that the first half season will probably be The Hunters. I'll do a video on that tomorrow discussing that. Um, but it seems to me like we're getting to see some other characters from The Hunters be kind of built up. And I got to tell you, from, from what we've seen so far of these guys, they, in terms of ethics and in terms of what they're willing to do, make the governor look like uh, look like nothing. You know, I mean, they are one of the groups that make you question, you know, when it comes to torture or things like this or what they're doing to Bob right now, if there are worse things in life than just death. And, you know, that kind of torture, that kind of pain and suffering that Bob is going to have to go through, just absolutely brutal. So in terms of this, um, I'm hoping that we get to see some kind of rematch between Martin and Tyrese. And I'm hoping that this time Tyrese has no other choice and he actually does pull the trigger. He actually does kill him. Otherwise, I think we may see Tyrese's death by mid-season finale. Just story-wise doing predictions here. I think that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you think about this Martin character. I think he's probably one of the most evil characters we've ever seen. Him and Gareth and the others are just, oh my goodness, wow, so evil, so scary. You, you know, I, I don't know how anybody couldn't be absolutely rooting for Rick's group at this point. I don't know how you could uh, relate to people like that that have just gone so overboard. Uh, I'd like to see some more of the flashbacks at this point, kind of get to see some more of how Gareth and the others, I think we will probably next week, um, took the uh, Terminus back. And also maybe a little bit of just what transformed them into this state or into where they're at right now. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, all of that. And uh, wow, crazy crazy stuff. Uh, cool new development, cool new reveal, because I was pretty sure after watching the original you know, premiere the first time that Tyrese had killed him until I started discussing with you guys in comments and we started looking at it a little bit more and I thought, hey, why didn't he let Carol go check on him? And he was saying that he wouldn't, meaning that uh, I guess maybe he didn't. So I don't know one way or another. Tyrese is a cool character, but I do think there's no doubt about it. Uh, Martin does half to die. There's no other way around it. So let me know what you guys think about all that. So discussion topics. So nobody's right, nobody's wrong here, but uh, let's discuss our opinions on the characters and what we think about this new uh, dark path for The Walking Dead Season 5. Horrifying path, but also some cool new character interactions and, and, and complex dynamics happening here. Let me know what you guys think about all that. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please do me a solid as always. You guys know what to do. Please thumb it up below. I would appreciate it. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And yeah, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace.